how to choose the right bowling shoes for your game. You have beginner shoes, advanced shoes, you have different sizes, different shapes, different styles. There's many, many to choose from, but to get the right one is very important. For a child or beginner or an average bowler, you have a shoe that has a slightly different sole. You have a flat sole, less of a heel, to kind of slide easily into, into the foul line without any kind of instability. As you get to the next level, you have shoes that not only are a little more dynamic, but you also have a different level of either width or shape, and also you have different soles and heels. You have Velcro heels, Velcro soles, to choose what kind of slide pattern and how much slide you want to create for your game. Not only do you have a style factor, but you also have a dynamic. The reason to choose a shoe that has multiple soles or heels is for a couple different reasons. You have one, you have everybody has a different pressure on sliding into the foul line. You also have a different style of bowler that will have more or less slide. To combat the synthetic approaches or wood approaches, you can combat them by having a different sole, be it more length, less length, and changing the mechanic of the, of the shoe itself. Choosing a certain sole, a certain heel that will stop and change the mechanism actually on the shoe itself to make sure you don't slide too far over the foul line. Purchasing your own shoes, choosing your own shoes, not only the value, but the cost factor of how much you bowl. You can spend a lot of money on, on using house shoes than having your own shoes. Mm -hmm.